All right, what's up, YouTube? Hope everybody's doing good. Uh, I just got back from tying at the fair with the kids, the Erie County Fair here. Uh, just with the Trout Unlimited, I went over and we tied flies, most of these bully buggers and stuff. But I got a video for you guys here. This is going to be on this Moorish Mouse. It's this pattern here in the vise. We got a two hook version in here. This is like the original uh, configuration that it's tied in. I tie mine a little bit differently. I usually use a squirmy worm tail in the back instead of a rabbit strip. But this one's got a stinger hook right back through here. We're gonna go through all of that and tie one up together here. So I'm gonna first thing I'm gonna do is pop this uh, this one out of the vise. See the bottom there. Okay. All right, the hook we're going to use for this fly is a A-Rex and A-Rex. <clears throat> TP610, Trout Predator 610, and this is size one right here in the vise. And the thread we're going to use, which is going to be quite necessary for this fly, this pattern here is going to be, we're going to use an odd 100 GSP, or 100 denier GSP from Vivas. Uh, 100, 150, 200 if you want to. Uh, we're going to need a nice strong thread. We're going we're gonna to be cranking down on this uh, deer hair. That's going to be the belly of this fly. So I'm uh, <clears throat> just going to quickly attach our, our thread onto our hook here. Trim off our excess. Just going to come in with a little bit of glue. Uh, the GSP is definitely, make sure you guys are focused. GSP is slippery, so it's never a bad idea to use super glue anywhere you can with uh, GSP. It's going to help the fly stay together, and it's going to help your uh, thread from backing itself off. So, uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to put in this stinger hook. So, uh, what I'm using for the stinger hook is a small piece. It's about a four or five inch piece of um, maximum 20 pound chameleon. Okay, we got. <laughs> I guess I'm saying that. So we've got our hook here. This is a. Uh... <laughs> okay, so we've got our hook here. This is uh, not exactly what it's made for. Uh, I just have a. I put a slight upward bend into a uh, A-Rex minnow hook here. Uh, you could use an egg hook. Uh, so you just want something with a, uh, that would be a downturned eye actually. Um, a stinger hook, uh, some octopus hooks. Uh, and then, okay, we're coming in with our, uh, like I said here, this is our Maxima 20 pound chameleon, a little piece of it. So we have a loop here in the back, right? So. I like to put a kink into that loop, as you can see. There's a small kink there. It's just gonna help us put push this through the eye of our hook. I'm gonna push through the eye of our hook and up and over the bend and pull it through. And there you have your stinger hook. We're just gonna tie this down to the, the shank of our hook here. So. I'm going to come in with a little bit of super glue again. We want to make sure we got this right on top and we have it right where we want it. Measure mine back to this uh, spring here. Okay. We got to make sure, yep. We're not twisted or anything like that. We're good. So we're going to come over this with some good wraps. I'm going to come all the way back to the bend of our hook. Just make sure everything's tied down. Now I'm going to take these on each side. Just going to pull it back over. Put a few wraps on it. Pull your side over. Put a few wraps. And this is just doubling over our mono so that it does not want to move at all. 
and I just clip my tag ends here right about where we tied our thread back to earlier and then we'll just come back over and clean it all up and we are ready for our next material which is going to be our uh, tail so for the tail this is a rabbit strip uh, regular zonker strip eighth inch zonker strip uh, this one is a barred light tan color uh, it doesn't I don't think the barring is necessary. It's just what I had. Uh, it's cut two inches, two and a half inches is uh, cut off of uh, of the of the hide is what I cut, and then I'm stripping all of this f material off the front. As you can see, there's only just a little tuft of hair here at the end. So we're gonna tie this in right on top of the hook again. A little bit of super glue. I'm just gonna measure that out. This one about there. That's about two hook shanks. Tie it down. Gonna clip off that little bit of excess. And then just lash everything down to our hook. Come back over this all the way back to what was our tying point there. Okay, now that we have that all secured, uh, at this point you can take this hook out too, so that it doesn't uh, go uh, hooking you while you're tying this fly. Uh, I'm not going to because when you're tying a vi or I'm making a video here and you guys want this quick. So, next material is going to be our foam. Foam is cut to 3 inches long, it's cut a 3 inch by half inch wide piece and I have a slight taper in it up here uh, I sell a Moorish Mouse uh, body cutter uh, we'll have that in the shop here at some point uh, I actually just ordered a few, uh, some of them they're on the way right now so uh, once again super glue super glue is our friend especially with this foam it's going to uh, keep everything from moving uh, foam has a tendency to want to roll on the body so Thread tension and super glue are your friends. So we're gonna tie the or put this tag in so that it just covers up all of our little transitions there. I'm gonna come over top and just lash this piece down on top of our hook. And once again we'll tie back to our tying point there. Alright. We're good. And now we are ready for our first stack. I'm going to invert my hook here. First stack of uh, the deer hair is going to be uh, putting this belly here. Just make sure you guys are focused. And I can move you up a little bit. We're going to be on this bottom side for a second. Okay. All right, and I have my first pay or first stack prepped. So what we're gonna do is we're going to run these fib fibers. We want them to come just back into this tail a little bit, fill out our body, and we're tying on this bottom side of the hook. We don't need anything up top because we're gonna cover the top with our foam. So we're just pretty much stacking this hair, belly stack, belly stack, belly stack, three belly stacks up. And I'm going to do the first one with you guys, and then I'm going to speed this up so you don't have to watch me comb all the under fur out of uh, the deer hair. If you want something like that in the future, please just let me know. Say something in the comments you want to see about prepping stuff. I'd love to show you guys. I just, I don't know. I'm trying to do this fast for you guys. So, <laughs> uh, here is our first little stat or uh, bundle of, I'm just going to tap our tips together first little stack of deer hair this is a primo strip is what i'm using for this this is a natural primo strip primo strips are much better quality uh hair a lot of times than uh your belly hair sections that you get at a lot of fly shops um so once again this is about a little bit more than a pencil 
length, thickness of hair and we want to measure back to just past our hook. I'm going to measure, you know, measure or <laughs> get that measurement in my fingers here and I'm going to cut just below past my fingers. Come in. First one's the worst because we got that uh, hook right there. Okay. So now I'm going to come over that with one slightly loose wrap. Grab it with another one. And then we can put our pressure on. Just going to hold that right on top of the hook. I'm going to pull it back a little bit and then we're going to tie right through all those butt ends. I'm not just going to lock everything in place where it is. Okay. That one looks good. So I'm just going to clean up in front a little bit. And you could really stack this full hair. I don't think it's necessary for what I do. I do it just on the bottom and then trim the belly. So we're just going to put another stack. I'm going <laughs> to speed this up for you guys. I'm going to do another stack here. One more here. And then that last one is going to. We want to have our thread right around here. Leave a little bit of room for these butt ends when we do it. And uh, I will check back with you guys in a couple minutes here. All right, so now we have that, those three stacks, and as you can see, we do not have much on our top side here. Just going to run this thread through these butt ends a little bit more. Trim some of them out because I want to put some thread wraps down here. Just cleaning out a little bit of space. Okay, so now we're going to put our hook back the right way in the vise. I will refocus you guys. Okay, it's the next day. Uh, I did not like the way that came out. <laughs> uh, well, this part of the video actually just got completely deleted. So, we're going to start back here. This is where I'm at. I trimmed out that little bit of area for my thread. And I'm going to uh, glue down my strip of foam. So, for this I used that, uh, the Gorilla Glue Super Glue. I'm going to just coat all on top of these uh, stacks of hair and a little bit up on the mat foam. Okay, then I'm just going to push this down and back. So I want it to fold over itself just a little bit in the back here. And then make sure it's centered over our hook eye. I'm going to leave this thread spun up a little bit. I'm going to go one loose wrap, another pretty loose wrap, grab a hold of this and give it some tension. I'm going to pull this flap up. I'm going to sneak my thread in front for a couple wraps. Okay, and then I'm just going to do a couple extra wraps over our foam. And then wrap in front, right by our hook eye, and half hitch off. Okay. And half hitch. Two fingers, wrap it around, take that finger, push that finger up to it, let go with this finger, and then there's your half hitch comes right up and in and then you have a good placement where to put it. Okay. 
just going to trim out the thread. And then I'm going to manipulate this fur around a little bit. I just want to pull it all up so that I have a nice little veil of it on either side. Because we're going to trim a lot of it out of the belly here. I'm going to try and show you guys that with this one. So to trim it, I'll pop this out of the vise quick. And the first cut we're going to do, some nice sharp scissors, is I'm going to do a channel straight down the belly, pretty flat, and right towards the uh, point of our hook here. So as you can see there, I just got a little bit of a channel through the center and then I just what I'm going to do is just continue to f make it a little bit wider and just each time I do I'm going to angle my scissors. So as you can see this is how the belly is trimmed. Uh, the way I achieve this is just by, I usually I start with a small channel through the middle and I just work my scissors up through and then I'm going to keep widening that out and as I widen it out I'm going to put a little bit of a, a belly to you can, you can see how it's kind of rounded there so that belly of it is just going to help it heal and float in the water and everything um, and then you can see you still have some hairs out to the side which are going to give you that profile I uh, push my stinger hook up through just measure that out just pull them both tight, measure it out, and then you can pierce your uh, your stinger hook through. And the uh, the other thing that's nice about these stinger hooks I didn't mention before is uh, this is replaceable. So if this hook ever thing anything's ever to happen to it, you can replace it. If you don't want it there, you're fine. You're if you're bass fishing or something, say, and uh, you're you don't need this extra hook. You can just pull it up. It's uh, the loop will still be there. The loop will actually help hold your tail in place and everything still, but it just won't have that hook back there. Uh, but it'll still have your nice hook up here, and you're all good. And the only other thing I do for durability on this one is I'm gonna hit this with super glue right up here, all over these thread wraps and these that deer hair right up by the uh, the eye of our hook, and. That's the fly. That's the Moorish mouse. Uh, we just tied this one up because uh, I've uh, I tied up quite a few of these recently. I've had uh, quite a few customers going up to Alaska for rainbows and stuff like that. So uh, this is what they were looking for, and I tied some up for them. Uh, I have actually not done much trout fishing with this pattern. Uh, I usually fish other patterns for trout, but... Um, yeah, I do fish this one for bass for sure. Uh, like I said, in that instance, I would take this back stinger hook out. Uh, it's just an extra precaution. Uh, I don't need to hurt fish that I don't, don't plan on eating or anything like that anyways. Okay, so the guy, person we're going to go to with for the uh, giveaway this week, well, the giveaway for the Paragons from two weeks ago, uh, will be Bob Matuzic. Uh, if you could just get a hold of me, uh, either comment on this video or the other video, uh, I'm just going to do the same and I'm going to try and get an address from you so I can send those flies out to you. And once again for this video, just comment below and you'll be entered to win. Uh, we're going to do three of these, uh, the Moorish Mouse, just because we're talking about a little bit more time consuming pattern. So uh, I'll give away three of those uh, in two weeks when I... I post my video in two weeks we will draw that uh, person's name just got to comment and subscribe to the videos and once again I'll just say thank you to everyone for uh, just helping this to grow uh, it's growing pretty well and I'm excited and uh, looking to get more fishing videos and everything and uh, definitely have a bunch more lined up uh, for tying videos for the fall uh, materials for any of our videos are in the links below just look in the links below and they'll take you to our website that will uh there will be those materials and many many more um 
if you have any questions about any of those materials, feel free to ask. I'd love to answer any questions. Uh, I use all this stuff myself. And so I, <laughs> I'm versed. I know what I'm talking about. It's not just uh, materials that I buy and sell. I, uh, I use them every day. So once again, thank you for watching. Have a good one, everybody. Redo. <laughs>